Брюс Ли и Морта. Welterweight division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Assassin. And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big head kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, blocks the shot. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Ooh, big shot lands. 
big leg kick land. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Caught that kick there. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Down into his mouth. All right, side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, right in the mouth. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes from your opponent. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. 15 seconds. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Just misses with the right. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Ready? Fight. Round two here. Big power punch land. Now we get back to range. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
big kick land. Clean with the right hook. A oh, little single collar tie there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. All the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Lands with the right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Big flying knee finds the target. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice sneaky head kick. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a come behind it. The left punch now followed by a right. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch in the clinch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Huge block there. Single collar tie now. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick lands. And they separate. Left hand punches the clinch. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the win to the target there. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet.
All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well-placed kick there by Lee. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Muay Thai plum. Punch over the top. Single collar tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Boom. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Just misses with the straight left hand. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, man, head kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just a slip there. Way to hide that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, missed on that one. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do, and when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Spinning back fist. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. And if you like Muay Thai, you like knee strikes, that was the round for you. Yeah, that was a great round. You can see how well-versed he is in using all weapons that are available to him. He hits elbows. He uses punches, kicks. But his knees have improved to the point that he can dictate and control a round by using just those. You're looking tired out there. Well, I know you train hard. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round wasn't a confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Good punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Trying the flying knee there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. What a punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw so at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. All collar tied, and they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. 
Under one minute remains in round four of a possible fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. There's no That's tell her. on that leg That's kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, he gets the takedown. Could ill afford that. He's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Nice hammer fist. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Round four. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just unable to quite find that range. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Head kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, eats a knee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh, he lands it near the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Liver kick. It's not over, it's not over. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Takedown defense holds up. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful head kick. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, late in the fight now. He needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee's kick is blocked. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. minutes now to go in this one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big knee. It's much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch, Lynn. 
Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Wow. Double leg lands. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands flush with that right hand. I mean, how many can he take? Win the scramble, win the scramble. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag off ball here. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eagle Beans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Assassin! All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.